for us now Where do we stay When I blame you for the things that weigh me down All right, so the main floor isn't too bad. I did just do a little bit of shopping. I'll show you that in a second. I wanna continue my deep spring cleaning. So I wanna definitely clean out my pantry. As you can see, all of my containers are down. I deep cleaned the fridge the other day. I'll actually show you. I steam cleaned the entire thing with my Bissell steam shot, but I did not film it. I wish I would have. I had no idea how satisfying it was gonna be. So you can't really tell because we did a grocery order and so now it's pretty full, but when I tell you guys, it is so clean. I've never had my refrigerator this clean before. I also have an awesome TikTok salmon recipe I'm gonna share with you guys today, but we're gonna get all of this organized, get everything back into their containers. I also wanna get the dining room cleaned up because now that I'm hosting Easter, I need to have all of that stuff taken care of. Just a few things, some school stuff. So we're gonna get that put away. And then the newest, most exciting thing is we adopted these two crazy puppies. Yes, not just one, two. This is Cookie and Blue. They are brother and sister from the same litter. <laughs> Cookie is the crazy one. We call her Cookie Monster. And this is Blue. He is so sweet, so we call him Blueberry Muffin. And yes, they play like this all the time. If they're not napping or eating, they are just attacking each other. They're so cute. But they are part Husky and part Pomeranian. And they are just so sweet. We love them. We have been working on their schedule. As you can see, it's pretty intense having two puppies. I had to write every single thing out. I mean, from when they go potty to water, breakfast, everything, just to cut down on accidents. And now, of course, they're calm because they've attacked each other. Blue, he's so pretty. Oh, I just love you. You're so sweet. And he loves to give hugs. He's like the sweetest little boy ever. And Cookie, she is so beautiful too. This is Bianca's puppy. Is this your puppy, Bianca? Yes. She's so sweet and she loves you, doesn't she? Cookie, she does. let I me see like you, baby. Cookie, come here. She's looking at her brother like she's about to attack him. Hi, baby. She's so cute. Do you love Cookie, Bianca? Yes. Every morning, I know she loves me because she pounces on me. She does pounce Even on Even yesterday, you. I had to put my feet up on, and Mom had to carry me to the couch. Because so you had shorts on, and we didn't want her to scratch you with her puppy claws, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I carried you but unfortunately even with their strict schedule I am still having accidents in the house we tried potty pads my sister was so sweet and generous and bought us like this massive box but unfortunately I think I read because of their breed they just rip paper to shreds so any puppy pads don't even last two seconds in this house so I have been on over duty with my Bissell cleaner it's actually my mom's I've been using hers and then I want to go through if we have time I want to spot clean the couch and get it thrown into the wash as you've probably seen I've never had my couch so like disheveled before and when we first got them we were allowing them on the furniture and then their previous family sent us a picture of their brother from the first litter and he is massive we had no idea have no idea still if they are going to be that big so just to be safe, we're not laying them on the furniture because he looked like he was maybe 100 pounds. And if they end up getting that big, 
we just don't want the couches destroyed. So we have tried puppy beds, but they're just really seeming to love their comforters. So we just have that in the corner. They like to cuddle. They're teething so bad right now. Dad's bringing home bones. So they'll have that soon. But so many things on my to-do list to try to get ready for hosting. Oh, I wanted to show you. We even have my friend Kim. She gave me this recommendation for this gate. And this is what we're using to keep them out of the upstairs right now. It's been very, very helpful, but we just zip tied it to the wood like she recommended. That way we didn't have to drill any holes into it. And unfortunately, we don't need the puppy pads, but you know, it was good to have just in case. That's our little box of like extra school stuff where we make like our arts and crafts. And unfortunately, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to keep this down here because Cookie thinks anything wooden, she loves to eat that. So definitely gonna have to find a new spot for that. But we just need to get everything cleaned up for Easter and get ready to host. So I wanted to bring you along with me. I also wanted to show you quickly some stuff that I grabbed. I forgot I should have showed this earlier, but I found this really sweet garland from Walmart. So I wanna hang that up. We need to get some more band-aids because you know it's spring and the kids are playing outside like crazy. We grabbed some more nails. Aubrey really wanted to do white this time. The girls want their hair straightened for Easter, so I grabbed them a hair mask. I've never tried this one, but it smells amazing, so I'm excited for that. Bianca loves purple, so I grabbed her this super cute color. I thought that would be awesome for Easter. And then, as you can see, I still have the red up for my wreath and for our <coughs> menu cookie. What, baby? Who are you barking at? Oh, he's got your toy? Come here. You want a toy? Come here. Come here, cookie. Come here, baby. She's like, no. I'm just going to wait for him to walk away. Here. There you go, Blue. This is what I deal with all day. They literally fight like true siblings. Don't they, Bianca? Yes. They fight like crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they fight. It was so funny. The other day, they were running through here, and they had so much momentum going that they literally slammed their bodies into the two lanterns right here, and they stopped, and they froze, and they looked at each other like, oh, my gosh mom's gonna kill us and they barked at each other and then they turn back and they look at me and they just froze it was so funny that was they were like real children blue what are you looking for i call her when she's exploring i call her oh dora God, the explorer dora, dora and i call him explorer. diego because they're always looking for something i swear but okay so we have the nails we have this is my easter ribbon I really, really love this one. I thought it would be beautiful in place of the red. I love how it's not just Easter. I'll probably keep this up all spring. Then we needed some new kitchen gloves because my purple ones, unfortunately, are now my puppy accident gloves. So I figure yellow is beautiful, bright, perfect for spring. So we're gonna make those the new kitchen gloves. I had to get some more floor cleaner, and then a little bit of makeup remover. So we grabbed just a few things, but I just wanted to show you guys what we had. I love this ribbon and this, if you're still looking for some last minute Easter decor, and I thought the gloves were so cute. So let's get started on the kitchen, and then if we have time, we will move into the living room. Today's video is in collaboration with my bestie, Kaylee Jump. I love this girl. We talk every day. She is a girl mom, just like I am. She's married to her husband, Hunter, and they live in Florida near Disney World. She has a gorgeous home and she makes a ton of videos on cleaning and decorating. And what I love most is she shoots her videos in a vlog style so you get a little bit of mommy motivation as well. I know you guys are going to love her as much as I do. She's so talented. So make sure when you are done watching this video, you check hers out. She's doing a get it all done with lots of kitchen cleaning motivation, small grocery haul, and some baking with the girls. 
Don't forget to subscribe to her channel and let her know in the comments that Ashley sent you. If you are here from Kaylee's channel, welcome. I'm so excited you stopped by. My name is Ashley and my channel is all about cooking, cleaning, and decorating. I also like to sprinkle in some mom life and now puppy life. If that is what you like, I would be so honored to have you subscribe. It's absolutely free. Make sure you introduce yourself in the comments down below so we can all get to know you. I'm laying down at the compartment Oh no, I see you only when you're balling Oh no, I don't even care to doubt I see you in the wild Cause this time I will choose you, yeah I'll choose You know exactly how they look like Did daddy bring you a treat? <laughs> he said nope What'd you get? That bone is bigger than he is, Steven. <laughs> Cookie can't even hold it, it's too big. The other day when I was deep cleaning the refrigerator, I noticed that all of the containers had not been wiped down like this in a really long time. I had just been using a little multi-surface cleaner and just wiping out the outside, so I knew I wanted to take everything out of them, pull them out of the refrigerator, use some warm soapy water, so that is what we are doing now. We are just gonna get it fresh and clean so we can refill everything from our grocery order. The puppies just ate dinner and now they're in a food coma. Hi, Cookie. What you doing, baby? You sleeping? She's just chilling. Blue. He's looking like he's ready to go potty. Hi, Blueberry. Hi, baby. You're such a sweet baby. Yes, you are. He's so cute. So they're going to be going outside soon. I'm going to have my oldest daughter take them. And as you can see, they have done, actually it was just Cookie in particular, have done a number to my cabinets. And I had a friend of mine tell me that they make a solution for this, like a little liquid you can put on there. She also said try vinegar and I tried it and it worked. So luckily they haven't done that since. So Steven's going to have to replace this entire piece, but yeah. Puppy life is seriously no joke. And she's lucky she's cute. Right, Cookie? Cute baby? <laughs> These plastic containers for the eggs are such a pain to wash, but I'm so happy they're finally done. So now we're gonna get them refilled and I just wanna move a few more things around. That's what I told you soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, 
No going back, there's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high I've been binge watching my friend Katie Sarah and she has a refrigerator in her garage which is seriously goals. I would love to have that just for beverages so hopefully that will happen in the future but for now I like to keep them up high and then we are just going to make sure that all of the vegetables are in the vegetable drawer and then we are going to put some containers in here for the fruit. These fingerprints are out of control. All right, so I wanted to show you everything put away. Sometimes people think containers might take up a lot of space, but honestly, it really consolidates things. These are hard boiled eggs. And then we have a little bit of some pastry goods. I have some veggies in here and extra vegetables that, I mean, they could go in the veggie drawer, but we usually eat them faster than they can go bad. So I like to reserve our veggie drawer for lettuce and things that we actually need it for. Make sure it's on the proper temp. And then for my fruit, I usually have the fridge like way more stocked, but with Easter right around the corner, I wanted to have a little bit of room. So I also like to have room down here for leftovers. And I'm gonna be making this salmon tonight, so we'll get that out of the way. And I don't have a ton of like meats and cheeses. I usually have this organized but we have not bought a lot of that stuff right now. So probably after Easter when I restock, I'll fill all that back up again. And then I just moved the beer to this shelf because I want the kids to be able to get to their milk. And then usually if they put juices in here, I want that to just be something they can easily reach. So I like to put the drinks away, kind of on the side, out of reach, and that is it really simple but now it's going to make it so much easier to cook and get ready for easter i think i'm going to make dinner because i'm starving and then we will work on the pantry we are making something super simple and fresh i'm just taking a little bit of salmon a couple ingredients we're going to throw it in the air fryer it only takes about 15 minutes steven and bianca are playing uno so you might hear them in the background but we are going to start by adding the honey mustard brushing it on then we are going to add old base seasoning i also added a little bit of paprika and garlic we're going to sprinkle that on top and pop it in for 15 minutes i'm going to show you how to do it you're going to take your salmon and rinse it first then pat it dry then you're going to place as many pieces that will fit into your air fryer at once for me it's going to be about three then we are going to add the honey mustard Brush that on. Then you're going to take your seasonings and we are just going to sprinkle that on. Add as much or as little as you like. I think Old Bay is a little bit salty. That's why I like to add more garlic and paprika to it. And that is it. You're gonna set it for 375 for 15 minutes. Okay, I made a simple salad with cucumber, tomato, red onion, a little bit of parsley, salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil and some lemon. I'm gonna add a little bit of feta. Give it a good stir. It looks so good. Put a piece on top. 
Hit it with a little lemon. Okay, let's try this and see how it is. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. Mmm. Definitely, if you're looking for something light, easy, and delicious, this is so, so good. Okay, I want to get dinner put away. I made the girls some rice and broccoli for theirs, and I want to stack the dishwasher. Unfortunately, it's getting pretty late, so I'm going to need to take the pantry off my list for today. Right now with the puppies, I am prioritizing cleaning the carpets and mopping more than unfortunately spring cleaning and decorating so that is what we are going to finish up tonight i want to get the food put away and then we will start working on the carpet We have always hated this carpet and definitely plan to replace it, but now with the puppies being so little and having a couple accidents in the house each day, we are definitely going to have to wait until they are fully potty trained to do so. So each night what I like to do is go through with my Dyson and vacuum around any little accident that they have. Then I'm going to spot clean it and then I'm going to show you what I'm using as like a little DIY carpet cleaning solution. I kind of got the idea after seeing so many people mixing various things on TikTok. I still use carpet cleaning solution though, so let me be clear on that. I do use it because I think it helps with them not marking so much, but I add a few things in that just give it this incredible smell because it smells so horrible in here when they have an accident. So this solution, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. If you try it out, make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you like it as much as I do. These are the products that I use to clean the carpet with. I start with a little bit of the All Free and Clear laundry detergent. I add a little bit of the Lysol laundry sanitizer. I also add in a little bit of this Downy Infusions Calm just to smell so much better. It smells like, oh my gosh, it smells horrible in here sometimes. So then we add in the Rug Doctor, the Pet Deep Carpet Cleaner. This totals about a half a cup. I add this into my machine with the hottest water possible and it makes your house smell incredible. So this has been my nightly routine is just finishing the night off with cleaning the carpets and also mopping the floors. It smells so incredible. I love it so much. I really love how the fabric softener really softens the carpet and the Lysol really sanitizes. I like to go super slow making sure I get every area. I actually also go over it in every direction which really seems to help a lot. I hope this DIY solution was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out Kaylee's channel. You are going to love her. She's so much fun. Don't forget to let her know that Ashley sent you. And thank you guys so much for watching. It truly means so much to me. I'm so excited to be back and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.